without meaning and without purpose. Amen. Why are you here tonight? Amen. What is the purpose? To associate yourself with others that will learn more about God. That's a purpose. But an empty soul is without purpose. Amen. You're just buying time. Wait until you get 18 or 20 years old so you can fly the coop. Amen. Just as soon as I turn 18, I'm gone. As soon as I'm a man, I'm gone. As soon as I'm able to not, I'm gone. No substance. Lacking sincerity. Amen. How we doing, church? Lacking sincerity. Sincerity and truthfulness. Some marriages are just as empty as a glass with no water in it. Turn it upside down. You know, you turn the glass upside down, and water don't stay in the glass. Amen. It's empty. Nothing in it but air. How we doing, church? Amen. Soul is a personal's, a person, excuse me, emotional and moral nature where the most private thoughts and feelings are hidden. Amen. But the word of God is quick. The word of God is powerful. The word of God is sharper than any two-edged sword. It goes right down to the marrow of the bone. It's right down there where all them hidden secrets are. And it digs into it and it shakes them up. And it uproots these. And when the gospel is finished cleaning you up, you are empty. But there's a danger in being an empty soul, church. Amen. There is a danger. Digging, if you will, congregation. Turn with me to the book of Psalms. Every individual during the course of the 10 days of fasting and prayer should have this prayer to God. In the 139th division of Psalms, in the 23rd verse, David asked God to search him. Amen. You want to be searched, church, because you don't want anything in you that ought not to yeah. be there that will hinder you mm -hmm. from entering into God's kingdom. Amen. Amen. How we doing, church? In the 139th division of Psalm, the 23rd verse says what? Search me who? Oh, God. Now, who knows you better than you? Amen. Mm -hmm. God knows. Amen. You can't hide from God. Amen. He's too great. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. He made us, remember? Amen. He created us, remember? He breathed into our nostrils the breath of life. We became living souls because of God. In him we move, we live, we have our state of being. So he knows all about us. Amen. He knows what you're going through. Mm. He knows the difficult times in your life. Yes. He knows your ups. Mm. He knows your downs. Yes. Amen. Amen. Read the first verse. Oh Lord, what? Since First verse says, oh, Lord, what? 39 and 1. Oh, 39 and 1. 39 and 1, 139 and 1. The first verse says, oh, Lord, thou hast search, search me and what? And know me. See mm -hmm. that? Yes, I see it. Amen. Now, if you want anybody to work on you, the first thing you want to do is when the doctor said that you need an operation, I want to know your qualification. <laughs> yeah. Amen. You're talking about operating on me, but I want to know what's your qualification. Yes, what's your qualification? Now, it's one thing about God, church. He knows us. Yes. Well. 
David said, search me, O Lord. Mm -hmm. Amen. And know my heart. 23rd mm -hmm. says, try me and what? Know my thoughts. Now be careful when you ask mm -hmm. God to try you. Yes. Amen. Mm -hmm. Be careful when you ask God to try me because he's going to turn his hand loose and Satan is coming at you. Oh, yes. And there's a reason for being tried. Watch this now. Try me and what? And know my thoughts. And know my thoughts and what? And see if there'll be any you wicked. See, you want God to find out if there's anything hidden. Yes. Mm -hmm. And the only way that you're going to get scum to the top, you got to turn up the heat. Mm -hmm. Amen. Old yeah. folks know all about that. When you put it in the pot yeah. and you got to, some things you got to boil. And get the scum out. See, the scum is no good. And there's a lot of scum <laughs> hiding around deep down inside. And the only way to get the scum to the top, you got to turn the heat up. Amen. Mm -hmm. Same thing in the game of a basketball. The only way to find out what a team is made out of, you turn the pressure up on them. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. You press them. And when you press them, you find out if they can handle the pressure or they fall apart. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, we put the pressure on them down on the other end of the court. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. And we apply the pressure and they fall apart and turn the ball over. We right underneath the rack. Mm -hmm. And what happened? If it works the first time, you're going to do what? You're going to try it again. Mm -hmm. And if you can get two or three points up ahead on them, then you might back off and relax. Let's see what else they got. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Well, you want God to search you. Mm -hmm. You want him to try you mm -hmm. and to see if there is any, what? Wicked way in me. Wicked way in me and then do what? And lead me in then the I way everlasting. Lead me, Lord. Yes. In the way of everlasting. You see, sin will not last forever. Righteousness will. But if there's sin in your life, you're going to die. What did we learn last night? Mm -hmm. The soul that sinneth, it shall die. Yeah. Amen. 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 That's right. But you got to live like Jesus yes. mm -hmm. in order to live eternally. Amen. Amen? Mm -hmm. So listen, turn with me to St. Matthews, mm -hmm. <clears throat> the 12th chapter. Mm -hmm. Jesus spoke about <clears throat> unclean spirits. Mm -hmm. Now you ask God to search me. And if there's any wicked way in me, mm -hmm. you know, you, you'd be surprised at what's hidden. Amen? Amen. Until you are under pressure, yes. that hidden secret thing just hangs around in there. Mm -hmm. yes. It was just like, you know, I told you about the time when we were, took the car brand new, you know, and my wife is very particular about her cars, amen. Mm -hmm. These little things happen now, she, she, she don't, you know, she don't like that. Well, the man was supposed to fix the car, and the man had fixed the car, but because she didn't know how to turn it on, she was having a fit. And I was trying to tell her, it's, it's just, nah, nah. I said, will you shut up? And my mother-in-law said, oh, I didn't know that was in you. <laughs> See, but the pressure brought it out. Amen? So now if you would just shut up for a minute, mm -hmm. amen, and listen to me, if you push the button this way, the light will come on. Mm -hmm. And sure enough, the light came on. So all that huffing, puffing, and hot air was for no reason at all. But what it did was it showed what was in. Mm -hmm. amen? amen? That this man ain't going to stand for no stuff. Mm -hmm. Amen. <laughs> he will tell you to shut up and be quiet. See, the only way that you can hear God speak is you got to shut up. 
Amen. Amen. 